Hey guys, Street Stomper here. So I've uh, been spending some time creating my uh, secondary channel dedicated to uh, gaming and technology and thought um, some of you guys might actually be interested in this. So um, yeah, what I'm going to do is since I can't double post the specs of my video, I'm going to put a link up in the corner up here. And I, you know what, actually I'll put it in a pop out. I'll play the video in a pop out. And uh, if you like that, um, by all means, drop by, check out my channel. I'm going to sit here and let it play through while we do this. That way uh, I can have my video up on, on both. So give me one sec, I'll get it set up. Hey guys, welcome back to Evil Gaming. So, I've had a couple of you reach out to me uh, during a couple of my live streams asking uh, what my final rendition of my system is. Well, rendition. we're going to go over that here right now. Um, I did end up with different monitors and a different tower, as you've probably seen in the previous videos. So, without any further ado, let's get on into what this new system is right now. Alright, so this is what we've got. We've got dual 27 inch MSI monitors. These are the MSI G27 C4, I believe is what the uh, correct model number is. And we have the MSI Codex R 10SC-05C with the, uh, where are we here? Focus, the RTX 2060. The i5 10th gen came factory with uh, 16 gigs. I have since added uh, two Corsair <laughs> Vengeance RZ Pro for a total of uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Gig sticks, but we have uh, quad hard drives in here. We have two terabyte SSDs. One 500 gig SSD for our operating system. And I have, I stuck uh, just an external on here. That's uh, like our Steam library, so it's just easier. I don't want to uh, take it down again. So this is nothing. This is just a stand from the Snowball mic. So that's the blue Snowball. <laughs> that stand isn't even for that mic. That's actually black ice. I'm not sure what it's called there. For my camera. Yeah, our uh, system came along nicely. Cable management's not too bad. I mean, now we got the uh, seen support over there. <laughs> Everything else is zip tied to the back to a power strip along the back, along the how can I do this? <laughs> along the back of the desk there. Oh boy! Uh, that light bulb in there is a smart bulb, so I can change the color on that if need be. Okay, if, I, I uh, already see. When I'm streaming, I, I like to put it something I got like a blue in here or already. A purple. I've already noticed a bit of a. Um, or what else have we got here? We have the Throne Max, That's really interesting. Uh, full HD camera, it's just 1080, not 4K. We have our Black Web speaker system, which again, see the subwoofer down here. There's nothing crazy. I mean, what it's, it's done it's actually is taken my previous video, at, um, one that uh, I didn't want anything I didn't crazy. I just wanted something for a rendering because I used to uh, seen a couple of mistakes audio in here that I want to take out. Not and not always having out. to rely on the to the um, one. Headset, so let's power this up. I, I just finished that. doing the cable management now. My cables were were absolutely all over the place. So yeah, I'll get to see if we can get a full. Where are we here? So there you go. You get a kind of an idea of what we're looking at. So yeah, that is the two 27-inch curved monitors. Incredible. It changes the way you look at your screens, man. Like. I think I said it in one of my other videos. I wasn't sure about the curve, but wow! I love the curve. I'll never go back to a straight monitor. Clearly, and that's why I added a second would be nice. Second monitor here. So they're like double. Yeah, let's uh, let me get the model number. Twenty-seven will do just fine. So let's go. This time, where are we here? Event settings. Yes, uh, G27C4. So that is the correct model number for these screens. They are 165 hertz. There you go. You can see all that. 
currently running at 165.003, which is great. It's insane for Call of Duty, as you've probably seen. I streamed Call of Duty last night on Twitch, so that was fun. Had a lot of fun trying a new game out. So literally, yeah. Tried. Overall, <laughs> this is my more than I streaming and gaming game system. Game. Total here is about four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars Canadian. Um, and then tax on top of that. Most of that, believe it or not, is is from that tower. Stuff adds that up tower quickly, was seventeen hundred dollars. It's never worth buying used. One hundred fifty dollars for RAM. Then we have the uh, FSDs in there, which are two hundred dollars each, I believe. They're one hundred ninety nine dollars each. And of course, our monitors. These monitors retail here in Canada for three hundred nineteen dollars each. Uh, as I said, the um, speaker set was only 20 bucks. I got that on sale. Uh, I didn't even talk so about my keyboard. Can't, can't, can't complain, complain about that. that. MSI and Vigor. To do my GK streaming, 30. I use uh, the Twitch Studio app for when I'm doing Twitch and Streamlabs OBS for when I'm doing uh, YouTube. Reason being is because I found just the regular OBS Studio was giving me choppy audio and I messed around with it for hours and to be honest I got frustrated with it so and it's still giving me trouble I tried again after I made this video to see if I can get it to work I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's something to do with my blue mic or some sort of a driver issue I have no idea but I've tried uninstalling it reinstalling it updating drivers it just it won't work I don't understand what's going on in there so yeah, I ended up just going back to Streamlabs. I left it, and I went back to Streamlabs OBS that was already set up, and one click, she's ready to go. So, yeah, oh yeah, so then we have our uh, Razer, where are we here? Razer Kranken Ultimates here, just hanging on a bit of a hook, just to keep them out of the way, but yeah, I recommend, if you don't have a hook for your headphones, it's so much tidier just grabbing a hook, and that's just a double-sided tape. Um, I don't even know what you'd call that hook. Utility hook? Just works. Couldn't find an actual headset hook anywhere near me right now, so... Yeah, this is it. This is our final setup. Let me get a picture of the chair in here. I say final, but... There you go. So, white leather. Um, I think we all kind of know that when you say a final setup, we're going to upgrade things as we go, you know, when the next bigger, better parts come out. We're upgrading for sure. Office chair, not a gaming chair, but let me tell you, that thing is comfortable. So, yeah, you can see all the kids' presents under the tree. I don't know why I went. It was a great Christmas. Yet. I hope you all had a great Christmas. I think so. And people just have didn't any think questions it was a mess about our system? <laughs> by all means, shoot me a message, comment on this video. We are streaming on Twitch now, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 10 p.m. Doing uh, various titles. So if you're not following me on there hit us up there it is JJ evil gaming and uh, follow me on Instagram as well to kind of stay in the loop it's evil gaming on Instagram so appreciate y'all and look forward to gaming with you hey ah, so yeah that about uh, wraps up uh, what I've been doing um, given that it's winter here I am NOT big into winter wheeling because well I'm gonna get stuck and the pandemic has kind of stopped a lot of things from happening you know as far as gatherings and meets and whatnot so we've uh we've improvised we got snow runner we can wheel in snow runner and mud runner and man let me tell you that snow runner is something else if you haven't played that game and you're thinking about it i strongly recommend it because it is i've spent more time than i care to admit on there so yeah that's uh that's about it for me right now and appreciate you guys all watching thanks for hanging out and uh We'll see you on the next one.